Back to the Jiggy Jaguar Show on the network. Okay, it is the Jiggy Jaguar Radio broadcast. We are coast to coast and border to border on iHeartRadio. Thanks for tuning in to the big broadcast from the KJAG Radio Studios in Osa, Kansas. We are live each and every day, 2 Central, 3 Eastern, 12 Pacific, and 1 p.m. Mountain Standard. Yes, 24 7 at jiggyjaguar.com on TuneIn Apps, Radio Loyalty. On demand podcasts are available on iHeartRadio and, of course, Twitch live stream as well. If you're on the Twitch, like us as a friend or add us as a friend or do whatever the hell you got to do. Selected editions will be available on amfm247.com, 50 plus amfm stations in the big network. And, of course, live video available on twitch.tv, Periscope, Facebook Live, and the YouTube. Follow us on our Facebook page at facebook.com slash the Jiggy Jaguar and find out our daily videos and daily uploads at youtube.com slash Jiggy Jaguar. And of course, as I mentioned, add us as a friend on Twitch. So let's do this. Let's go to the Perv Magnet herself, Olympia LaPointe, the great Olympia LaPointe. She has got a pretty cool little topic today. We're going to be bringing scientists to find America's solutions. I do want to talk to her about the thing, about the SpaceX thing. As I don't know if you paid attention to what we did on Sunday. Quite the deal, Sunday. Maybe. Maybe not. Well, there we are. Look at that. Wow, you have got a giant smile today. That is awesome. Uh, <laughs> uh, we have got Olympia LaPointe with us. Before we get into the topic today, um, <laughs> I've got to get your take on something. I had a guest. I had a guest on Sunday on our Sunday radio show who believes he's one of these guys, which I just I don't understand these people. I can kind of go with some of the conspiracy stuff, but when you start talking about the fake moon landing, that's when you lose me. But he's one of these fake moon landing people, and he also believes that the SpaceX launch exposed the fact that the Earth is flat. <laughs> I don't mean to laugh out loud, but no, 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 no. Has, everyone has a right to question <laughs> science. And so that's why I'm here today to tell us and give us answers that are unleashed. Yes. So. Uh, Olympia LaPointe is with us and uh, bringing scientists to find America's solutions. And uh, so let's start with this. Uh, scientists guide politicians, and they also can help uh, – in other areas. Break it down for us, my friend. Oh, well, thank you so much. I love being on your show. And to comment about your guest uh, this past uh, couple of days ago, yes. the Earth is round. <laughs> space SpaceX did go into space. And we are seeing that there is great science and technology that is being developed by brilliant minds. And so when we can listen to the brilliant minds and of these scientists that are out there in the world, that are out there creating these great uh, launches, that are out creating these great uh, process to save people from the COVID-19 pandemic, when we listen to these great scientists, we actually can find answers not only in science, but we can actually find answers in other pressing issues that the United States is going through. And so today is that topic. It is Olympia LaPointe. She's with us today here on our broadcast. And uh, each and every week we have a, a great segment here with Olympia. And uh, so let's talk about breakthroughs in culture through science as seen in the yeah. past. Give us your take on this. Oh my gosh. It, and I love, I love sharing this and thank you for being on your show. We are experiencing a lot of pandemics this year. Uh, everything from yes. the COVID-19 pandemic, everything to the, uh, the racial injustices pandemics that we are seeing, that we are seeing a lot of problems and yes. no nation is perfect. No household is perfect. No person's life is perfect, but we do move towards a better existence when we start to find answers. And so right now in the United States, there's so many problems and the people who can provide answers, especially to a lot of our cultural diversity and social issues, I suggest are the scientists. And we've actually seen scientists create great 
breakthrough abilities to transform the way that people were thinking, not only in science, but in cultural, civil uh, equalities between men, women, and all people through diversity. And there's three people specifically who have done that. France Boas, Katherine Johnson, and Albert Einstein. And these people are not just people in the past, but how they have affected the past has tremendously changed the landscape of what's happening here in the United States. And I would recommend that as we continue to move forward, we can use the same type of thinking that the scientists introduced into 2020 with being able to change the way in which we're thinking, because this pandemic is, n is changing the way that we're operating, changing the way that we're thinking, and what's gonna come across with our economy is technology. So the first person, Catherine, well, no, actually, no, the first person was Franz Boas. Do you know what yes. Franz Boas did? I have no clue who this even is. Explain oh. this to me. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Franz Boas was the, one of the most important scientists and contributors to prevent Nazi Nazi concentration camps in the United States. Oh, did you know that? No, I did not know that. That's awesome. Yeah. He was an anthropologist and his work during the uh, World War II was able to look at different races and different people and he was able to determine that it didn't matter someone's ethnic background or race or, or, or heritage, everyone was equally able and competent to be able to succeed in cultural environments if they're given the resources and opportunities. So his work, his scientific work was very fundamental in making sure that people in the United States during World War II understood that Jewish individuals who were being persecuted in Germany and in Europe didn't have the right to be persecuted here in the United States. And his particular mathematical and anthropology type of study was able to present to the American public that people needed to be treated more equally and fairly when it comes to developing culture. So he was a significant contributor to history in the United States. Wow, that's fantastic. Yeah. So who else do you have on your list here? Because you because you mentioned you mentioned three names. Yeah, Katherine Johnson. Now, Katherine Johnson is the next scientist, and she's an African American scientist. She recently passed away right before the COVID nineteen. And probably she passed away to make sure she left the earth, uh, and and everyone would know her name. If you have watched the movie Hidden Figures, she was her life story was a part of that movie. Oh, that's awesome. And, yeah, in 1961, she was an, one of the first women and first African-American people to work for NASA. She was a mathematician, and she created the trajectory orbits for people to actually launch to the moon and to even Mars. So the the question that your audience member had, did we actually launch to Mars? Yes, Katherine Johnson was the <laughs> the person who was responsible for making sure the mathematics actually uh, allowed us to launch the moon. She was so significantly contributing to our United States space program that she helped the United States launch the rocket, put the first men on the moon in 1969, on, which is a real thing. <laughs> and, and she was able to help the United States win the space race against Russia. Now, her technology has allowed us to put satellites into space, and it is a part of the technology that we are using today through Skype, through all of our online communications. So a lot of people don't know that. Yeah. That's fantastic. Well, you know, one of the things that I always say when it comes to the, 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 the guys and everybody who think that the moon landing was fake, I'm like... I've been to the Kansas Cosmosphere and Space Center here in Hutchinson. If they were going to fake the moon landing, they went through a hell of a lot of effort to do so. Uh, that would be a <laughs> lot of money. <laughs> so uh, your your next name, Einstein. Give us give us mm -hmm. give us your take on that. Now you know uh, about the late Thurgood Marshall, right? Yes. In, yeah, there Thurgood Marshall. There was a. Uh, a university that was built, that was the first university that was built for people of color, and African-American men were part of that um, educational system. Now, uh, Einstein, in 1945, I believe it was, he volunteered his time, and he taught to African-American students, men, 
and he taught them the theory of relativity. This was almost 20, two decades, 20 years before the major civil rights movements changed and rocked the United States. He was one of the forefronting founders of making sure that people were educated in science. And wow. he was able to produce great scientists uh, through his work of culturally allowing people to see that they could learn science no matter what their background was, no matter what their heritage was. And he was a major contributor to uh, science education all the way back in 1940. So that contribution was let the groundwork of uh, desegregating educational systems when it came to science. And uh, I, I truly thank uh, Albert Einstein because Due to his work, he had great scientists that were graduates at the time. It's fantastic. So, uh, where can people get your book and uh, and and get involved with what you're doing? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I I love sharing about how we can use science and mathematics and innovative thinking to solve problems. Not only the problems that we are seeing in science, but actually the problems that we're seeing in this particular uh, new 2020 day and age, everything from COVID-19 to the civil uh, rights and equalities, we can use this innovative thinking to actually change lives. And with this thinking of this 2020 new economy of technology, it has become necessary for us to change the way that we're thinking so we can get everyone in the entire United States on board with the technology growth that is destined for this country. So you can find me on AnswersUnleashed.com. That's where you'll find all the different type of videos in which I've created to help people change their thinking so it actually becomes innovative. Innovation is faith when it's applied to science. And I'm so excited to share that. And if you want to really open your mind. There's a couple of lectures in which I gave that are free for you to watch. They are complimentary and I have partnered with California State University Northridge. I partnered with uh, major technology corporations like the SAS Corporation and they are located on answersunleashed.com slash live lectures and there you can find breakthrough concepts to change the way in which you're thinking so you can create innovation and find answers in your life. Fantastic. Well, another great segment with uh, the great Olympia LaPointe today. And uh, Olympia, I appreciate you making time. And uh, check out AnswersUnleashed.com. Thank you, my friend. Oh, it is always a pleasure to be on your show, my friend. Thank you. There she goes, Olympia LaPointe, the uh, fantastic Olympia LaPointe. And we are going to take a timeout, if I can find my music. Where the hell's my music? I need to get my music I need to just have that ready. You know, kind of like having it in a media player. 